What we can see in this case is that there was a patient who underwent orthodontic therapy for the correction of crowding and in order to bring about the correction, his first premolars were extracted. Now his treatment is complete and the orthodontist wants to give him a removable retainer because as we know, after orthodontic treatment is complete, there is still a tendency for relapse. So in order to prevent the relapse, we are giving a removable retainer. Now we have been asked which retentive component or a clasp okay should not be incorporated in the patient's appliance so what is important here to note is that the patient has undergone first premolar extractions and like i said because uh, there's a tendency for relapse there is tendency for spaces to open up okay there is a tendency for the space to open which we do not want so in order to prevent the space from opening up we should avoid any uh, uh, retentive component which is going to run interproximally okay because this is going to bring about a wedging effect and this will again open up the spaces. So we don't want this, okay? So if you look here in the options given, so this is a Bolin class which is running interproximally. This is an Adams class. So usually an Adams class is given a Holly's retainer, which is given for patients who have undergone non-extraction therapy. The label bow runs from canine to canine and then Holly's, uh, I'm sorry, Adams class is given on the first molars, okay? So this again runs interproximally, so it should not be given. This is a triangular class. Now, again, triangular class and ball in class do not have adequate amount of retentive ability as well as much as a Adams class has. So, this is anyway uh, uh, eliminated and we are left with this. This is a circumferential class for the C class. It is usually given behind the second molar so that it prevents any opening up of space. Another type of design that can be given in extraction spaces in that is in the form of a Beggs retainer. Okay, so in a Beggs retainer, the labial bow itself is adapted in such a way that it runs till the last molar and uh, it, it comes into the arch and it is embedded inside the acrylic. So there is no uh, wire component that is running interproximally. So there is no opening up of spaces. Okay, so this is indicated in extraction cases. Now, the other type of questions that they could ask you from this topic is to identify the various retainers. Now, this is a Beggs retainer. They can, they can give you an image of a spring clip retainer or an Essex retainer. So, go through these uh, images carefully because they can be asked as image-based questions.